Well, it was a, it's a song that, like many, that can be applied to any variety of topics when it's written right. You know, sometimes a well-written song is one that really, okay, you know what that one's about, this this thing and only this thing, but sometimes it can be applied to a variety of settings, I guess. Well, maybe we should sing that one. I don't know. You want, you want this? Why not? Look how organic they are, folks. They're just kind of like, oh, what should we do next? Well, it, it's, I think it's a taste of what's going to be coming uh, tomorrow night and uh, on Wednesday in Asheville. Uh, thanks to Travis Book, who's done a couple of cool sessions. Travis Book of the infamous String Dusters. He's hosting regular series at 185 King Street in Brevard on Tuesday nights and then at the Great Eagle in Asheville on Wednesday nights. And this week, he's got Tim and Jan and others. Yes. He went out and walked the streets where no one knew his name. He'd been here many times before, but now was not the same. Music spilled from windows onto the sparkling air. A fallen leaf came drifting, caught in his hair, he walked on. He walked on. He came to a corner where five points used to meet. Past the Chinese grocery and on up the street. Brand new buildings going up and old ones coming down. Delivery trucks were rolling, spreading smoke around, and he walked on. He walked on. He kept on. He walked on. Then waiting for the light to change Somehow his peace was shattered Still smelled the fumes and heard the cries But now they hardly mattered He thought of how preachers speak Of heaven and of hell He wondered was he in between It was hard to tell And he walked on He walked on He kept on He walked on So much of his life he'd never really understand How you could lose a grip on things you held right in your hand 360 different points that you could try to view He never found the ending, there was always something new And he walked on, he kept on, he walked on Maybe sometime later he'd try to write it down Maybe find some old guitar to recreate the sound Feel the grit between his fingers Eat food that tasted real Hold his head and heart some way So he could really feel He walked on He walked on He kept on He walked on He walked on He walked on He kept on he walked on and on He went out and walked the streets Where no one knew his name He'd been here many times before But now was not the same He walked on He walked on He walked on. That's the title track from uh, Tim O'Brien's latest album with uh, Jan Forbishus here today. And Jan, you're on, on the record with other fine folks. And uh, what else have you been up to lately? I don't know. I saw you at Merle Fest uh, with, on Stur with Sturgill Simpson on that cool set. And you had 
done a couple of albums worth of good bluegrass stuff with him. Yeah, that was uh, quite a fun thing. Um, mm-hmm. My old buddy Dave Ferguson called up and said, you want to come down and play bluegrass with Sturgill? I said, I'm there. And uh, Sturgill had so much fun the first time we made the record that uh, he he decided to do a second one and <laughs> about three months later. And then... Another three months, he did a third one. He did the uh, Dude and Juanita record. Yeah. So yeah. it's like uh, we had three records, and then all of a sudden uh, we could go go do a few gigs, and we went and played uh, uh, some Willie Nelson outlaw tours. Right. Dates. We did about six dates, and then Sturgill was uh, hadn't been singing much, and he blew his voice out, and we canceled the second half of the tour. But we did get out and play some shows, and it was nice to get it back out again, and. Uh, that was really fun. I mean, he had he. Uh, it was cool because other the first two records we did were all songs that he'd recorded before, and so he um, was kind of loose about how we would do them. He was very easy going about it, and uh, in some ways probably more warmed up on the song than he would have been when he recorded them the first time. I know how that goes, so it was pretty cool and uh, had a real stellar cast. It was really fun. It was amazing, folks, as you might imagine, <clears throat> for someone like Sturgill Simpson to be able to assemble. Uh, and yeah, did he have that idea in mind of like, okay, it's going to be bluegrass style. Here's what all I want to do certain ways. Or did you all kind of like? He had a pretty good uh, idea about it. I think Ferg and him worked on it prior to, to us getting together. But it was pretty. Um, he had a pretty. He's you know he's a he's a really good artist. He knows what he's after. Yeah. And so, uh, and he comes, he comes uh, from Eastern Kentucky and knows the genre and is a, he's a big Ralph Stanley and Larry Sparks freak, you know, and he, he really uh, liked hearing that. And he had played some bluegrass in his earlier days as well, so sure. it was good. And uh, he raised up the keys on some of them to make it more bluegrass. Oh, <laughs> all right. An <laughs> raised the tempos trick. up, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> all right, right. Uh, I remember having a moment there at Merle Fest looking up and, Tim O'Brien and Stuart Duncan, two of my absolute favorites, just right there jamming together. It was sweet. Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, you know, it was, uh, and then uh, uh, Sierra Hull was playing the mandolin and singing, and uh, and Scott Vestal and, on the banjo and Mike Bubb on the bass. So it was, you know, kind of uh, a bunch of ringers there. And then the second week, Sierra had to go off and do other stuff, and uh, so I jumped from the guitar to the mandolin, and yeah. I. Uh, I had I just I just finally got off my notes on stage when he blew his voice out and canceled. <laughs> right. <laughs> so all that work kind of like adapting to what are the mandolin parts? Yeah. And getting it down. It was a funny there's some funny stories about all that. I don't know if we can go into that. <laughs> Me getting ready on the mandolin. Uh-huh. <laughs> involving our late dog and oh boy. Bunch of stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we do have time to talk about it. <laughs> Jan's like, no, 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 another time, another time. But, well, what else have you been up to then in the, during this time where a lot well, of folks I've are doing writing, very little? You know, I've just been writing some songs, and Jan and I have been, um, you know, working up some new music, and then... Um, we wrote a song. We wrote a song together, which uh, we're kind of excited about. We want it to be the next country hit. <laughs> we want it to be a country hit, yeah. And uh, Sure. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will make it a hit. If, if, but, you, uh, if you say it and yeah. put it out there, it just might happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, we're uh, we're working on a house. That's that's uh, we we're uh, remodeling the upstairs bathroom, and that's uh, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> we're All getting right. a walk-in shower. Oh. You know, we're like uh, you know, Too we're senior citizens <laughs> now, so we're getting a walk-in shower. <laughs> well, talk about adapting lyrics now and again. You could do an update on working on a building, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> working on a bathroom. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, 